Hi guys, I am Gajesh Naik. In this video, we will learn what is Bitcoin. Before starting this video, scroll down and click on the subscribe button and also the bell icon to receive the latest updates. Bitcoin is the best known and most popular of the digital currencies, also referred as cryptocurrencies, because of underlying encryption technology that makes them secure. Digital currencies are a new electronic form of money developed for the internet age. This may come as a surprise, but since its inception in 2011, Bitcoin has had such a big impact on the financial world that some commentators have suggested it could become a new world reserve currency and referred to as digital gold or gold too. Indeed, many central banks including US Federal Reserve, the Bank of England and People's Bank of China are reportedly exploring the development of their own Bitcoin-like currencies. Bitcoin can be used as a form of payment in lieu of cash but has features that are lacking in cash. It is also a popular investment vehicle like gold, bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are scarce resources that can't be counterfeited or devalued by a government seeking reduce its debt loads. Although also like gold, speculations and investors demand has made it highly volatile at times. As with gold and other precious metals, investors buy and sell bitcoins on exchanges and directly. Buyer to seller. With a digital asset like bitcoin, it doesn't require the use of payment processors, a bank or a government to transfer value. For large purchases, instead of using a bank as a middleman, and paying its fees, you can securely send funds to anyone all over the world. Because of technologies used to mint, store and buy them, cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are difficult to hack. But like cash, a transaction involving Bitcoin can't be reversed. Unlike a credit card or certain types of bank transfers, once a Bitcoin payment is made, it can't be undone. Using publicly available software, Bitcoins are created and stored electronically on a computer, which makes them a virtual currency that doesn't require a physical form like coins or paper money. What about those coins like images that you have been seen in photos? They aren't really Bitcoins. Those visuals were created by newspaper and website editors who needed to illustrate their articles. So if Bitcoins solely exist as a virtual data, what's to stop someone from duplicating this data and creating more virtual money at will? The answer is record keeping software that underpin the digital currency known as blockchain this is a type of electronic ledger that runs on multiple computers no one can alter a blockchain entry on one computer unless the change is acknowledged and agreed by all the computers in the bitcoin network this along with the encryption used to authorize Bitcoin transfer makes it impossible for anyone to mint more Bitcoins on their own because they are independent of governmental entities like the central banks that have traditionally controlled the money supply and the availability of paper currency. Bitcoin aren't a direct part of world's banking system. Instead, balances are maintained collectively, are associated with addresses 
and transfers are approved by holders using unforgeable mathematics. The fees to trade Bitcoin do not scale with the cost or risk of transfer. Like gold and other precious metals, the supply of Bitcoin is more or less fixed. As of August 2019, there were just shy of 18 million Bitcoins in the world and the total supply can never exceed 21 million. Absent a change in underlying protocol. But a Bitcoin can be subdivided into factorial, into fractional coins, so its usefulness, so its usefulness to pay for things isn't constrained by limited supply. The smallest unit of Bitcoin is called Satoshi. After Satoshi Nakamoto, the supposed investor of the currency, although nobody really knows for sure if this is a real person or a pseudonym used by a group of people responsible for Bitcoin's creation. A Satoshi is one is one hundred millionth of a bitcoin which is 0 0.00001 which at today's price is equivalent to about about two one hundred of a cent these implies that participants in the system can own less than a single coin and in fact far less than a single coin this enables this enables commerce and transfers based on smaller notion values when bitcoin was first introduced 9 years ago you couldn't readily buy anything with it today while you generally still can't take the bus or pay for a meal at a local restaurant using Bitcoin. There's a growing list of companies that accept it as a form of payment, especially via their websites. These include such well-known brands as the online retailer Overstock.com, the electronic retailer New Egg, the travel and hotel booking agencies Cheap Air, Expedia, and Microsoft, which allows customers to use Bitcoin to pay for purchases at its Windows and Xbox stores. Other merchants that accept some types of Bitcoin payments include Dunkin' Donuts, Best Buy, Home Depot, and Target. Many retailers are tapping into Flexa, a global cryptocurrency payment network that makes it easier for consumers to use Bitcoin at their customers, at their stores. Up to now, the primary interest in Bitcoin has not been for making payments. Worldwide interest has been focused on the cryptocurrency's investment potential. Bitcoins are traded on various exchanges under the ticker BTC or XBT. In 2011, the price started at $0.3 per Bitcoin, rises to a high of $5.27 for the year. In 2012, the price rose to a high of, of $13.30 and then picked at $770 in the following year. The digital currency hit an all-time high of $20,000 on December 17, 2017. 
Bitcoin prices have historically fluctuated and have generally fallen since the peak at the end of 2017. Following to $6,914 on 5th February 2018 when the Chinese government banned Bitcoin trading. As of this writing, prices hover between $8,000 to $9,500 in November 2019. Today, the price of Bitcoin is $13,000. If you are considering an investment in Bitcoin, it's also worth keeping in mind that in 2014, the IRS ruled that all virtual currencies, including Bitcoin, would be taxed as property rather than currency. This complicates your tax calculation if you use Bitcoin to buy something. Because your Bitcoin property may have risen or fallen in value between the time you obtained it and used it as payment and the IRC will want to know. Everyone needs assess their risk tolerance when it comes to investing, including in bit cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies still in budding space and their popularity is likely to grow as an alternative form of money. Thanks guys for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates.